Did you know that the textile dyeing industry is one of the largest consumers of water in the world? Using over 5 trillion liters per year, along with petrochemical dyes, plenty of toxic and highly polluting chemicals, and large heavy machinery, the textile industry is responsible for 10% of global greenhouse gas emissions. The good news is that this company is transforming industrial textile dyeing into an environmentally friendly, socially responsible, and economically viable process using bacteria. Based in Norwich, but supplying dye houses across Europe, Colorifix is using natural fermentation processes to develop textile dyes that are inspired by nature and are good for both people and planet. After witnessing the devastating impact of chemical dyeing on communities in Nepal, the founders of Colorifix looked to nature for inspiration and eventually the solution. For thousands of years, humans used natural pigments for dyeing clothing and other fabrics. But since the Industrial Revolution, synthetic dyes quickly outpaced natural ones in regard to cost, scalability and performance. With Colorifix's innovative micro-based solution, humans can go back to using natural dyes without harming the environment, having to compromise on quality, or relying on supply chain availability. Colorifix's work starts in nature, as they look at plants and animals for colors that could be used for textile dyeing. But rather than extracting anything from nature, they aim to replicate the DNA of these plants and animals by recreating DNA pathways. These DNA pathways can then be expressed and multiplied in a petri dish, like this. We spoke with Alicia, a microbiologist and the pipeline lead for microbial engineering here at Colorifix. We kind of start with basically taking inspiration from nature to actually kind of decide what kind of colors we find in nature that we could kind of reproduce in our systems. We'll basically um, try and identify the genetic code which basically encodes the biosynthesis of the pigments we're trying to create. We'll basically put that DNA into our host microorganisms so that they can express the exact same pigments that we see in nature. Once the microbe samples have been created, they are then passed on to a team of chemists to be analysed and the pigments extracted. Will is an analytical chemist here at Colorifix who was kind enough to show us his part of the process of pigment extraction. The majority of my job is taking samples from other teams, so our microbial engineering team or our fermentation team. We look to identify what the pigment is to make sure we're, we are actually making it. Uh, and we also look to see how much of it is there. As far as the extractions go, some are just add some solvent and you're there. Some are various stages of purification depending on things like solubility and pH and it's entirely dependent on what we're looking at. Once these strains have been approved by the chemists, the microbes can then be provided the right conditions to grow through the process of fermentation, just like how you'd make kimchi or kombucha at home. This machine is showing us a small-scale sample of the microbes in the fermentation process, which if proven to be perfect, can eventually be replicated in huge tanks for large textile production. We brew them kind of in the same way that you would beer, but instead of getting alcohol, we're getting colors instead. They'll be given to us and we basically make an inoculum. So this is those big um, flasks you're seeing there. We basically fill those with the um, media that we're going to be using. And then this gives us a really good starter culture, kind of in the same way that you'd have a starter for sourdough or something like this. Um, and that goes into our bioreactor, which then is where the fermentation will take place. We will basically harvest through this line of our colorful liquor, okay. um, pour it into a bottle, and then it will literally get taken from here down to coloration. And that's where they will then do all of the fixing on to dye. Now that the teams are happy with the growth of the microbes, it is time to eliminate the bacteria itself and naturally fix the pigments onto different fabrics. Eleanor is a lab technician in the coloration department who walked us through the different steps required to bind the colours to the fabrics. We focus on putting the dye onto the fabric. Um, so we do grow our own dyes, um, but we also use dyes supplied to us from the fermentation team 
that they've grown in their fermenters. Um, and then, yeah, we test different pH conditions and various different temperatures to see what works best um, when we're applying them to fabric. We've got our dye that's been grown by the bacteria. Um, and then what we do is um, we measure out a volume and this volume will vary based on the weight of fabric that we're using. So we can do lots of samples at once in here. When we're dyeing something like cotton, we do um, an, a program that's an hour and a half and it normally goes up to 95 degrees and that uh, deactivates the bacteria, the heat will, um, and that will spin them around as well to evenly coat the fabric with the dye, just to get the residue off. And then that's the um, final product. And then this, we will literally just put straight into the washing machine um, and then the tumble dryer and then that's ready. He also showed us the different types of testing required to ensure the colours in the fabrics don't fade in the wash, in sunlight or when rubbed against other fabrics or materials. Once the pigment from a type of microbe has been approved, it is shipped directly to dye houses where they can be scaled in huge fermentation tanks. Once ready, the dye can then be used in standard dyeing machines, making this whole project highly scalable and accessible for textile manufacturers around the world through licensing of Colorifix's technology. Colorifix was shortlisted for the Design Awards 2023 in the Material Innovation category, as well as was nominated for the 2023 Earthshot Prize in the Build a Waste Free World category. Colorifix continues to form partnerships with various brands around the world, including with slow fashion company Pangaea in one of its 2021 tracksuit capsule collections and experimental clothing brand Volabac. As the creators of the first ever fully biological dyeing process, we hope Colorifix continues to expand its reach within the industry and influence more brands to use their natural dyeing process. However, it's also important to note that even with wide adoption and evolving technology, Colorifix's innovations alone won't make the fashion industry sustainable. We believe that we need a cultural shift toward being more thoughtful about what we wear, extending the life of our clothes by repairing and reworking them, and ultimately, buying less. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like and subscribe below for more green projects like this. We'll see you in the next one.